And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image. So if any man worship the beast and his image. So if you look at this sign right here, what do we have right here? The image of the beast. Right? So read that again. If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his in his forehead. So what's the mark of the beast? What's the mark of the beast? In your forehead. The forehead is where your mind is. That's right. So that's the doctrine that comes with this image. What doctrine comes with this image right here? What doctrine? Teach. Sunday, worship, Christmas, Easter, all of that is paganism. Talking about on a small scale, buy the selling, going to your embargoes, your sanctions. It ain't talking about me and you, my brother. Bring it on. Because some people say the market, that's some teachers, some people say the market. So the market's going to keep you from buying and selling. No, you can't. So if the white man can force it in you, can you not still repent? You should still be able to repent, right? You see what I'm saying? So that's why I was reading the scripture about them having dominion over your body. So if they put that chip in you, guess what? Or, or you got the chip in you don't know it guess what you still should be able to repent and get into the kingdom of heaven regardless right so i want to give all the praises and the honor to yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem Ruha ha all right shalom i want to start up by giving all praise honor and glory to yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem Rakakotash. I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Ray Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the whole elect. And today I just want to go into, you know, pretty much the video that I featured in the beginning, you know, about, you know, the IUIC pretty much butchering what Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 is talking about, so you know. Lord willing, this lesson is at a fine straight to the point. And I'm going to end up this. There is no repentance for taking the seal. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to start in the book of Revelation, chapter 13. And I'm going to start at verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. You know, that's the elect. You know, not bowing the knee, refusing to receive the mark of the beast. Verse 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the number, it's like it, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and that number is 600 three score six and yes you know this is what the MLTB is you know this thing you know this is what Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 is talking about you know it's not a doctrine it's not an embargo like the last video told you, or the, pretty much the last guy told you, you know, oh yeah, you can get it, they can force it, you know, that's not how it's going to be done, you know, they're not going to force it on you, it's going to be a choice, you're going to be faced with a choice, that's what the hour of temptation is, you know, everyone pretty much being tempted to either take this thing or be killed. You know, and that's the time that we're coming into. And then, it's like you, you know, pretty much there is saying, you know, what exactly what it is. But you know, this particular device allows you to buy and sell. Now, I went down and it says function. RFID tags are a type of tracking system that is that uses radio frequency to search, identify, track, and communicate with items and people. Essentially, RFID tags are smart labels 
that can store a range of information from serial numbers to a short description and even pages of data, you know. And this is what is the thing used for radio frequency identification. CHIPs are a tiny computer. CHIPs connected to a miniature, two miniature antennas that can be placed on or in physical objects. They are used in a wide variety of applications where contactless authentication is desired, including toll booths, transit passes, passports, and contactless entry keys. And you know, there's videos of people that have this thing that can unlock, you know, doors, you know, the latest video being a guy that can start his Tesla with the thing, you know what I'm saying? And this is pretty much what the thing is. This is what it's talking about. And there is no repentance if you take this device, you know. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 9. And the third angel followed him, followed them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Slakia. Verse 10, the same shall drink of the, of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is, report, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night. Who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name and yes that's going into this thing this is what's going to go into people's right hand and their forehead this device you know and there is no repentance if you take this thing revelation chapter 14 plainly tells you that if you get this thing you're going to be destroyed you know and that's the judgment because they're pretty much saying oh well, once you get it you should still be able to repent you can't there is no repentance because you're pretty much proclaiming that you know Esau Edom is your God you know this is the book of Revelation chapter 3 and so like the book of Revelation chapter 19 verse 20 and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that had worshipped his image these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone and yes you know that lake of fire being America once, you know, it gets hit with those missiles during World War Three, you know, because this entire land mass is going to be engulfed in flames, you know. I'm going to jump down to Revelation chapter 20 and 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And yes, you know, the first death being, you know, when the Lord visited the world by way of the flood, you know. And he made a covenant with Noah to never flood the earth again. But he's going to bring a flood of fire this time, you know. And he's going to bring it to those that pretty much receive Esau Edom's mark. That pretty much worshipped him. That worshipped his system. And that's what it's coming down to, you know. 
whether or not you're going to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or you're going to serve Esau Edom, you know. So that's pretty much it, you know. There is no repentance for receiving the mark of the beast. There is no repentance for receiving this device. You know, don't be deceived because they're false teachers leading people astray. Once you get this device, that's it. You can't repent for it. You know, the Lord is going to destroy you. Because it's told to us plainly not to get this thing. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory. Due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakudash. I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. So the next time I say Shalom.